By the grace of Lord Sri Krishna, his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, was born a pure devotee. In 1933, Prabhupada was accepted as a disciple by a bona fide spiritual master and ordered to spread Krishna consciousness to the English-speaking world. Then in 1965, at the age of 70, Prabhupada, a renounced saintly person with neither friends nor money, came from India to New York City to fulfill the instructions of his spiritual master. Prabhupada was destined to spark a revolution in consciousness to ignite the Hare Krishna explosion. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Transcendental knowledge was first spoken by the Lord himself and has been passed down since that time from spiritual master to disciple in an unbroken chain. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Bhaktivinod Thakur, Gaur Kishore Das Babaji, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Goswami and Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. In 1966, Prabhupada founded the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, or ISKCON, widely known as the Hare Krishna Movement. Prabhupada translates on a dictaphone original Sanskrit and Bengali scriptures into English. The tapes are then sent to ISKCON Press in New York. The entire operation, from typing to illustrating to printing, is carried out by the Krishna devotees, all of whom serve without salary. Sri Gita Padakamalang The message is love of Krishna. Krishna is recognized as God by all the great saints in the scriptures of India. He is the all-attractive person in the reservoir of pleasure. To pass on the science of self-realization, Prabhupada is presenting the Bhagavad Gita as it is, the Srimad Bhagavatam, the Nectar of Devotion, and many other philosophical works. From a Los Angeles warehouse, these literatures are shipped to centers in the United States and abroad. Within a few years, Prabhupada and his disciples have organized an ambitious book distribution program that every year sees thousands of tons of books distributed around the world. The Krishna devotees say that by reading these books and chanting the names of God, a person can attain God consciousness even in this difficult and disturbed age. The most popular mantra is the now familiar Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare 
This chanting resounds from London to Mexico City, from Paris to Tokyo, from New York to Nairobi. Thousands flock to attend ISKCON's annual Rathayatra Festival. This festival is held in major cities around the world. Constantly traveling, Prabhupada often makes personal appearances. Here he is introduced to a New Delhi audience by the Canadian High Commissioner and garlanded by a leading citizen. Everything that we see that is created by God, so you should at least recognize that it is God's property but they are thinking they are property. So there must be no restriction. Is there a Prabhupada right says God is great and we are very small. He is the supreme proprietor and everything should be used in his service. All living creatures are sons of God and are therefore equal. Thus Krishna consciousness is beyond any sectarian and national limitations and is the perfect peace formula. Prabhupada denounces so-called gurus who claim to be God. Such gods are very cheap. I am not God and you are not God. We are all eternal servants of God. Being separated from Krishna, they do not know. We are part and parcel of God or Krishna. We are not in God. We asked Jadarani Devi Dasi one of the artists at ISKCON Press, to tell us about her involvement in the Hare Krishna movement. So I met Srila Prabhupada in um, 1967, and I was up in his apartment, and the first thing that he said to me, because previously I was thinking that I didn't know what I was supposed to do, so he said, uh, when you reach the top, then everything else is included. So that sort of answered all questions. It's like if you have a, a million dollars, then all of your ten dollar problems are solved. So he was implying that when you become Krishna conscious, then all of your other um, desires and aspirations and ambitions, everything is fulfilled just by taking to the process of Krishna consciousness. And then he asked if I could come to his morning classes. And then I started coming. And then when he saw that I had a propensity for painting, so he gave me two businesses. He said, just be attached to Krishna and to painting. So this is Keshava. Keshava is the name of Krishna. And it means one who wears fine hair. So God has hair, he has a face, he has a body, he's not impersonal. He's the creator and the maintainer and destroyer of everything. And he's the dear most friend of every living entity. And before you were asking how my consciousness has changed, but just like um, a lily leaf or something like that that's on the water, even though it's on the water, it's not touched by the water. So even though we're in the material world, because we're working for a pure devotee and for Krishna, we're not touched and we feel satisfied. Satisfied to be in association with Krishna's love too. Hare Krishna. Another engagement is the making of spiritual sky incense. 
But Krishna devotees believe that since everything belongs to Krishna, everything can be used in his service, including business. Spiritual Sky Scented Products Company is a commercial enterprise started by Srila Prabhupada's disciples to gather funds for use in spreading Krishna consciousness. The company markets and manufactures incense, oils, shampoos, soaps, and other scented products. Spiritual Sky has doubled its profits each year since 1969 and is now America's leading incense manufacturer. A computer at the Los Angeles factory keeps the accounts, checks inventory, and bills incense orders. And like any other Krishna devotee, chants Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Ten thousand. What's the lead time on the stick pads? Well, the thing is, the board takes about six yeah, weeks to get this type of material. Six weeks. Prabhupada's disciples handle all aspects of the operation, from dipping the sticks in scented oils, to packaging, sales, distribution, and manufacturing display racks. So the uh, quantity of incense... One sample with me, they want 12,000 sample. Upstairs, I got it. Okay. From the Los Angeles factory, Spiritual Sky products are shipped to temples around the world. I never expected such a big business to blossom, Prabhupada has often said. Now it is our duty to use it to serve Krishna. When people buy Spiritual Sky products, they will automatically think of Krishna and be benefited. Los Angeles is not only the center of incense manufacturing, it is also ISKCON's Western World Headquarters. The devotees assemble daily at 4.30 a.m. before the deities of Radha and Krishna. At the time of initiation, the disciple vows to abstain from extramarital sex, intoxication, meat eating, and gambling. Initiation and marriage rites are performed by ancient Vedic fire sacrifice. Initiates also vow to chant some 25,000 names of God daily, a two-hour feat, and to serve the spiritual master without reservation. Marriage means working together in Krishna consciousness. We asked a young husband why he joined the Krishna consciousness movement. As a student, I was sensitive to the problems confronting our society, and I could see that our leaders were unable to deal with him. Despite their promises for materialistic advancement, I could see that the people were becoming more and more dissatisfied. Even though we are very advanced materially, something very basic is missing in our way of life. By understanding Krishna consciousness, I, could, I realized that here was the philosophy that could fill the gap in our materialistic culture. By providing scientific, practical understanding of God, Krishna consciousness can give meaningful purpose to life. And it is the duty of the leaders to provide this educational instruction to the people. Therefore, I have begun the process of Krishna consciousness, and I advocate it as a practical solution to the problems of our modern technological society. Some of the women learn the devotional art of making dresses for the deity of Krishna and his consort Radha. Milk, grains, fruit, and vegetables are bought wholesale by the society and sold to its members at nominal prices. Devotees shop and prepare food for their families in a spirit of service to Krishna. The children are taught to see Krishna, or God, as the central point in life.
Krishna conscious education is offered at Gurukul in Dallas, Texas for school age children. Gurukul, or the place of the spiritual master, is staffed solely by devotees. Here the children learn the science of Krishna, as well as reading, writing, and arithmetic, and believe it or not, Sanskrit. Each teacher lives in full-time association with the children. Another word that starts with C. Kimmy? Chandramukhi. Chandramukhi. What's that word that starts with A? Oh. Billy? Apple. Apple. Who is the most merciful of all of Krishna's incarnations? What's his name? The most merciful incarnation of Krishna. <laughs> yes? Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya. Jai. <laughs> Emily? Mame Kong Chadanam Bacha Ahang Tong Sarapa Pedio Moksha Yasha Mimasa Chaha Hai Wai Glad Krishna and Balaram Bala Winda Kaya What is this? This is a This is the same thing with us too Why won't you tell you is any noise? The coward boy for me Yeah, nice The plays depict the pastimes of Krishna. Generally, they concern the slaying of a demon by Krishna or the Lord's activities with his devotees. Here is one of Krishna's pastimes enacted. The devotees explain that God is not an old man with a white beard. He is the reservoir of pleasure, and here he swings joyfully with Radharani. Thus the children learn that God is not a fearsome, alien, or vindictive personality. He is the supreme friend, and he allows himself to be pushed on a swing. Krishna devotees are also teaching in high schools and colleges around the world. It's divided into two syllables, Krish and Na, and together these two words mean the greatest pleasure. Rama also means the reservoir of all pleasure. The more people that chant, the more you'll feel this room becomes surcharged with spiritual energy. This is a fact. Transcendental sound yes, vibration is made available on radio and television, on records and on tape cassettes by Golden Avatar Productions. The self-realized soul can impart knowledge unto you because he has seen the truth.
Apart from urban temple life is New Vrindavan, a Krishna conscious community in the West Virginia Hill Country. Kirtananda Swami, president of the community, explains the project in this way. All right, Krishna, we'd like to welcome you to New Vrindavan. New Vrindavan is Srila Prabhupada's country ashram, one of his original ideas for spreading Krishna consciousness in the Western world. It is a great vision of presenting to everyone, not only in this country, but in the whole world, how one can become Krishna conscious, living just as Krishna lived in Vrindavan, depending on nature and the cows. Simply on the, the basis of this simple life of some fruits and vegetables and milk, man can become Krishna conscious. The economic problem is solved very simply and with the balance time saved, one can prosecute Krishna consciousness. Get up, Molly. Srila Prabhupada wrote us a number of years ago that if we at all want to develop the concept of New Vrindavan, we don't need to have much machinery. We don't have to become very much concerned with the modern amenities, but simply to depend on nature's beauty and the cows. So we are very fortunate here at New Vrindavan so many cows, they're coming, and the milk is coming. Daily now, we're getting more than 700 pounds of milk. And from the milk, we're making cheese, butter, ghee, so many nice sweets, rasrula, sandesh. Now we're beginning to distribute these things to our temples, and also they're distributing to so many people all over that everyone can see what is this nice life of Krishna consciousness. What Srila Prabhupada is giving us is a way of life, a way of awakening our senses to the eternal beauty of Krishna. And Vrindavan is the land of Krishna. And now we are constructing here Govindaji temple. This temple will exhibit to the world this wonderful process of deity worship or seeing Krishna in the temple. We want everyone to wake up to the blissful life that Srila Prabhupada is offering us. It's not dry, but it is eternal, full of knowledge and bliss. Whether in the West Virginia hills or in Old Mexico, the Krishna celebration is the same. On Sundays, ISKCON holds an afternoon festival with free feasting and philosophy. This Mexico City Sunday festival is typical. The women often make elaborate garlands. Generally, if a person sees a beautiful flower, he offers it to his girlfriend, Prabhupada says. But if you're in Krishna consciousness, you think, oh, what a beautiful flower. Let me offer it to Krishna. Here, Hai Haya, a Colombian who is the president of the Mexico City Temple, tells the Sunday guests that one should learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master. The self-realized person can give you knowledge because he has seen the truth. 
Entonces simplemente aceptamos, simplemente por una simple mirada, aceptamos a un maestro espiritual. Un poquito de fe pusimos y aceptamos un maestro espiritual que nos vino a hablar de algo que, que nos gustó, que algo muy atractivo, cantar, comer, bailar, estudiar algo muy hermoso. Entonces nos acercamos a él. Nosotros hablamos que los Sunday feasts take considerable preparation since no tinned or previously prepared foods are used. All meat, fish, eggs, and even onions are shunned. Various savory dishes are prepared according to ancient recipes. The Krishna diet supplies the body with all necessary nutrients without pandering to the whims of the senses. The devotees say that God owns everything and has no need of food. But by such offerings, the devotee is made conscious of Krishna and loving reciprocation with God is established. Namaste, Saraswati Devam, Gauravani, Pachane, Nirvise, Sarasunvari, Prasthata, Desatane, Ma Om, Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pristaya, Bhutale, After the food is offered to Krishna, it becomes prashadam, or Krishna's mercy. Devotees distribute this prashadam freely to everyone, for its effect is said to be spiritually purifying. Thus, every Sunday, more than 100 Krishna temples worldwide are filled with guests who partake of Krishna's mercy in the form of sweet rice and burfi and chapatis and halava and even something called Brahman spaghetti. <laughs> Prashadam knows no national boundaries, no creeds or classes. Here the devotees are distributing Prashadam at Bhaktivedanta Manor, the site is European headquarters in London. Here, as elsewhere, philosophical differences are reconciled over ladus and tamarind water. Prashadam is also distributed throughout India by the Krishna devotees. And as for the future of the Krishna consciousness movement, one of Prabhupada's first disciples, Rupanuga Das Goswami, gives us his opinion. There have been literally hundreds of versions of the Bhagavad Gita in the Western world. And not one of them has produced a single Krishna conscious person. But since the appearance of the Bhagavad Gita as it is, so many people throughout the whole world have revived their original dormant Krishna consciousness. People are becoming purified by this knowledge. It does not require a change in activity, that one shave his head or change his clothes, give up his job or leave his family. What is required is a change in consciousness, a change in heart. 500 years ago, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu predicted that this movement will go to every town and village in the world. This is the story of the Hare Krishna people.